Mitchell gets it in to Lace Massey. Massey dribbles at the top of the key. The shot clock is off. The Wonder Boys trail by two. Top of the key, Friedel. Friedel dribbles right, gives it to Massey. Massey drives. Massey gets to the basket, stop. Kicks it out to Pillow. Pillow for three. It is good! Marcus Pillow with 11.8 seconds to go. Give, they give it on the baseline to Handback. Handback is blocked at the buzzer, and the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys have survived. A Marcus Pillow three-pointer with 11.8. Several years ago, the future of the Arkansas Tech basketball program did not look very promising. After signing Mark Downey as head coach of the Wonder Boys in April of 2006, the basketball culture in Russellville began to change. His main goal was to get on CBS. That's what he kept telling us. He wanted to get on CBS and play in front of the national crowd and everything. And you stated in your press conference that one of your goals is to play on CBS. The tough question is, is uh, when do we play on CBS? When does Tech play in the big dance? The only way you could play in, uh, on CBS at Division II level is, is playing in the championship game of the NCAA tournament. So, uh, you know, that's, that's the pinnacle of, of what everybody wants to do. Everyone wants to stand on that stage that Billy Donovan stood on last night. And, uh, you know, that's what you want to do. So in order for us to play on CBS here at Tech, we've got to get to the NCAA. We've, we've got to, first off, get to the Gulf South uh, Conference Tournament. Um, and then qualify for the NCAA tournament and the region tournament. And once you do that, you know, it's anybody's game. Even though the Wonder Boys only won six games his first season, optimism for a better tomorrow was growing rapidly. And I, I think that, you know, being in the community and being out there and being visible is something I really want to do. But I think ultimately what's going to bring people back to uh, Tucker Coliseum is, is a winner. And um, that's what we're going to try to do and, and do it uh, to the best of our ability and do whatever we got to do to do it within the rules. During the 2008-2009 season, everything began to change. The Wonder Boys took a scalp from several nationally ranked opponent teams and put the Arkansas Tech name on the national board for the first time while joining the NCAA Division II program. Coming from a six and twenty something, I forgot the record, but coming from a bad start my freshman year and going into my junior year where we started beating ranked teams and started well started started becoming competition, I should say. I've seen the the bottom of this program and I've and I've seen us go to the top where we are right now and it feels great to be ranked. I feel like we could go to the Elite Eight and you know, possibly win a national championship. I feel like the, the Gulf South Conference Championship is definitely within reach, but we just have to stay focused and we have to continue to play hard defensively, and I think we've got a great shot. After finishing the regular season with a 23-9 overall record and 9-5 and in GSC play, it was the time for tournament basketball and the time for Wonder Boys to win their first GSC title in school history. Just taking one game at a time. What's really important is the Gulf South right now. That's how we're going to get into the NCAA tournament, hopefully. This year, everybody on the team has the attitude that we can beat anybody any night. And that's exactly what happened. In the first round of the GSC tournament, the Wonder Boys defeated a North Alabama team who beat the Wonder Boys two times during the regular season with an 82-66 victory and advanced to the semifinals where they faced Harding University. The Wonder Boys proved their dominance with a 73-63 victory over the Bison and advanced to the first GSC championship in school history. In the final game of the GSC tournament, the Wonder Boys beat Valdosta State 79-66 for their third consecutive win by double digits or more. This marked the first GSC tournament title for the Wonder Boys in school history. Year, we were lucky enough to win the uh, Gulf South Conference Championship the tournament and uh, I think that kind of helped set us up for this year too just being able to go through that whole experience of, of winning the GSC tournament and then going to the NCAA tournament. After winning their first GSC tournament 
the Wonder Boys were granted a berth to their first ever NCAA Division II tournament, where they faced off with Benedict College in the first round. We played, we went down to Florida Southern and uh, in Southland, Florida, and played, and we played Benedict College in our first game, and we ended up beating them by one point, and it was crazy because at the very end of the game they had a shot, uh, like a mid-range jump shot that I thought the guy had made off the glass, but uh, it ended up it ended up hitting that rim and rolling off, rolling off, and uh, we got the rebound, and ended up winning the game, and it was just crazy to be able to experience the an NCAA win. It's kind of like almost winning like the GSC tournament. It kind of felt like like you'd won a really big and important game. So that was. In a thrilling first round game, the Wonder Boys were able to edge out a victory of 63-62 to and advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament for the first time in school history. Going into the second round of the tournament, the Wonder Boys had high hopes, facing off against Florida Southern University. They came up short in an overtime loss of 95-92. to The second game, we actually played Florida Southern, the team that actually hosted the NCAA tournament. And uh, we, we played them really close. Tiago Cordero actually hit a, a three-point jump shot to send it into overtime, which was, which was a crazy shot. He, uh, he actually hit a three-pointer, which, was, which was, it was a pretty deep shot. And he was contested, and he just rose up and made it. And it was a, a big-time shot, a big-time play for us. And uh, kind of a turning point in the game, but then we just we couldn't pull it out and, uh, in the end. And it kind of it kind of hurts your feelings whenever you lose that game. Just being in the NCAA tournament, you don't ever want to go. You'll never want to go out. You know, in the NCAA tournament, you either you win or you go home. So it's it's kind of crazy how 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 it all works out. After the 2008-2009 season, the Wonder Boys put their name on the national map and automatically set up high expectations for the following year. I think just being able in that being in that certain situation where you're winning and you're you're getting to enjoy all that the craziness and the March Madness as they call it uh, in, in the NCAA tournament just it helps motivate you and get you ready to play for the next season too. It kind of it makes you want to get back to where we were and keep working even harder. And just whenever the new guys came in for my senior year, we were able to push them. And since we had already been in that situation, we kind of knew what it took to get back to that same on that same page. So. With the departure of four seniors, all eyes were on Coach Downey and his coaching staff for the upcoming recruiting class of 2009-2010 season. You know, Arkansas Tech is in, there's enough there, there's enough resources that we can take the program to that level, no question. It's just, it's going to take some hard work and some enthusiasm and some help within the community. We expect a lot from this group this year. We have a lot of returners with the newcomers and the returners. We, we don't quite have as many returners as we did last year, um, but I think we have a pretty good group. And um, with our fast-paced style, I think we'll be very deep. During the signing period, Coach Downey exceeded team expectations by signing three Division I transfer players, as well as many talented prospects. We just got picked to finish second in the league, which is the highest we've ever had since we've been here. We had three votes to win the conference tournament, uh, four first place votes, which has never happened before either. So uh, expectations are very high, but that's what we've wanted. That's what we welcome. And uh, we're looking forward to the season and think uh, that it could be a great year for Arkansas Tech basketball.